Welcome to another edition of PAC TV Community News. I'm Larry King. I'm Kim Mio. This week on PAC TV Community News, you'll meet a Plymouth resident who resolved to turn around a personal tragedy. Just to be a voice for a lot of people who are no longer a voice because they died in fires that never should have happened. You'll greet a new staff member at the Pembroke Public Library. Your idea of what a reference librarian might be has kind of evolved to become something a little more involved with technology. And you'll meet a local author who cooks on an open fire. I'd love to see more people cooking with fire. So much fun. The food tastes so great. You'll visit a new retail store in Duxbury's Snug Harbor. You know, we realized that it was pretty hard for Duxbury people to find and, and Plymouth people and Kingston people to find uh, local oysters around here. So. And you'll meet a young juggler from Duxbury. I want to be giving to people and performing for the rest of my life. Our arts and entertainment reporter goes to a performance of the African Children's Choir. And Town Talk this week comes from Pembroke. These local stories are coming up on this week's edition of PAC-TV Community News.